Okay, okay. Welcome, welcome back, guys, to my channel. Yes, guys, as you guys can see, we are going to do a everyday makeup look today. So, yes, I'm coming back to you guys with an everyday makeup look. Oh, but using, we're going to see how many new products I'm going to be using today because I do have a lot of new products and I have not tried them out yet so with that being said we're just gonna jump right into this video oh but first how is everybody doing out there I hope everybody is doing great out there and if you guys have not subscribed to my channel I would really appreciate it if you guys subscribe and thumbs up the video and leave a comment and hey join my little family uh, hey we're just say hey, doing a little bit of everything on this channel here you know so <clears throat> but today is going to be a makeup video so you guys already see I done already went in and did uh, my bras they're a little bit darker than I desire for them to be, but I am not going to remove them and redo it again. So, right now, today, I am going to go in with a new, um, this is supposed to be an eyeshadow primer. This is from, uh, MAC Cosmetics, uh, to set the eyes with, and I bought Lay Low and i have um soft ochre so the lay low one is looks like that it's a little bit darker than the um soft ochre paint pot the, yeah these are paint pot so guys as i go through this uh makeup video i'm going to be you know talking about the products as we um going through so let's get started guys so um hmm i'm kind of tossed up on which one i do want to use today but i think i'm gonna go in with the soft ochre one um just because i do uh want the colors to pop a little bit more so we're going to try this one. Yes, it is a little lighter. The brush we're going in is with an e.l.f. brush. So we're just going to uh, tap that in here. And guys, the video will be, um, hey, I'm liking when I do do my makeup videos, guys. I want to do it step by step. Um. It will probably make the video be a little longer, but that's okay, too. So, I'm just going to tap this on. Yes, it is uh, light, guys. Um, one thing I did find out about this product, what I am using to prime my eyes with, it is uh, a little bit, it's a dry uh, product. It's a yeah, it's very dry, but um, we're gonna see how this performs. It's going on great, easy to blend out. I wanted to try these and I kept opting out not to buy them. And I just went on here, guys, and broke down and got them. Yeah, my voice sounds a little raspy, so yeah, that's okay though these colds, these these viruses coming around, you catching them as soon as you get rid of uh, one cold, here comes something else on you guys. I'm like, wow, really? <laughs> so, um, yeah. Oh, I'm liking this. I didn't take too much, put too much on the, the brush. Um, yeah, I'm liking it. It's very it's a it's a lot it's a lot and I really don't have that much on guys so it's very very pigment very pigment we're gonna take my finger and just pat it down a little bit wow so you don't need 
that much. Like I say, this first uh, time using this product, and um, I like it so far. It is a uh, drier, a little, it's, it's kind of, you know, got a dry consistency to it. But, uh, hmm. I think it'll be okay. So, yes. Let's pat that down some. You only need a little bit of this, guys, to put on your eyes. I took put a little too much on the brush. Okay, guys. Next, we're going to go in with Fenty Beauty um, powder. We're going to set it with the powder, and this powder is in honey. So, we're going to get this set. I'm just going to dip my brush right in here. Take a little bit of that off and just go in and put a little powder on it. This is how I set my eyes, guys. Like I said, I'm liking the videos when I did that other one um, step by step when I had all the confusion in it. Um, I like to go step by step and just chat with you guys as I'm going along. Because a lot of people, like I said, this is something I would love to see, you know, more makeup uh, artists or gurus, whatever, you know, you want to call them, you know. Sometime I wish they would go step by step too, so I can exactly see everything that they are doing. So, we set it with the honey, and that was uh, Fenty Beauty. This is so got so many fingerprints on it. Okay, guys, I'm gonna put my primer on and we're going to jump right into the eyes. Um, really, really quick. Let me um pull my primer out. I got my new uh desk here, guys. I gotta show you guys right now. I'm gonna take uh this chapstick here, just chapstick, I can barely see, and uh. Put some chapstick on while I'm doing my makeup. This is in a vanilla. So this is this is what it looked like. I'm liking those little chapsticks. Yeah, and then I gotta fix my hair, my um sides and everything. Put concealer up there. Guys, y'all know the routine. Alright, the primer that I'm going to go in with is uh the no pore primer, just you only need a little bit of this. This is not uh, new, but um, this came in uh, my boxy charm, and I do love this here primer. Just take a little bit, pat it in like so. Mm hmm. Love to just pat it right in here, let the primer soak in while I am doing my face. Okay, guys. And you only need a little bit of that. I didn't even take out a whole pump, guys. So we're going to go in with our Angel Veil by NYX. I love to use two primers, guys. You guys about know that about me if you keep up with me. So I just go in and pat that on also. Normally, I would have this done, but like I say, I'm doing, trying to do my videos a little different. You know, instead of cutting so much out of them. Yeah, just pat that in. Put a little bit more up here. Just rub that in up there on my forehead, down there. This stuff is nice. I love this stuff. Okay. Get up under the eyes really, really good. And let all that goodness soak in while we do our eyes real quick. Guys, I didn't even pull out a palette. Let me do this. Loving my hair. I did bleach the knots. 
on my wig. I did take it back off when I made that video. I took it for a week, guys, and I took it back off. And I did bleach the knots. I wanted to film that. That was my first time doing it. So it came out okay, guys. It came out okay. All right. The palette that I want to go in with today, normally I would have it out. And I don't because this is going to be a simple look. I am thinking, thinking, thinking. Now, this is a palette that um, by Juvia's Place that uh, I have uh, just dabbled in it a, a little bit, but never really um, used it. So we're going to be using uh, Juvia's Place, the Warrior, the Warriors palette. Um, just a uh, everyday nude look. So we're going to um, go into this palette right here. Okay. You guys know I love to do my bra bone first. So I'm going to, the brush that I'm going to be using is a MAC 242. And we're going to go into this color right here for my bra bone, guys. So I'm just going to take a little bit, some of that off and put it right up under my bra bone like so just right up under it not too much not too much just a little dab of do ya <laughs> yeah so how everybody been doing out there in youtube land i hope everybody's been doing great guys great i've been doing great just been very busy you know, doing a lot of hair. Yes, very, very busy. But I enjoy it. I enjoy it. All right, guys. Got that up there. I'm liking that. All right. I don't have my brushes on. My, my brushes on. Lord have mercy. <laughs> my glasses on, guys. So I can tell you guys what brush I am using. So the uh, first brush I will be using is by Morphe. And this is the M504 blending brush. So. Hmm. We're going to take this color right here. Tap that in here like so. Just a little tap of do ya. And we're going to go in with this right under our bra bone color. And we're going to blend that in. I like to uh, place my color. And then I start to blend. Pretty color. I'm liking that. Wow. I'm really liking this color. Wow. Okay. Mm hmm. Liking, liking, liking. Her palettes do not disappoint. Um, they are always very pigment. And, um, hey, I love the formula in her palettes. I just love Julia Place palettes. Yes, I do, guys. So if you guys don't have these palettes, hey, I suggest you purchase them. I'm quite sure everybody down uh, have a at least one of her palettes because they are to die for. So just you know, tapping that in till I get uh, the desired color that I want up there, like so. Blend that in. Actually, you can take and blend it in all over the lid, kind of, sort of. Uh, I like the outer part more intense than the inner part here. So, just blending all that in. All right. Now, what we're going to do next. Oh, yeah. I'm liking that. Let's just do a little bit more blending. Just back and forth basically mm -hmm. all right guys we're going to take another brush i'm liking that color yes so 
I just want to go down a brush and this one is uh, Morphe M330. So we're going to take uh, go down a step far as the blend the blending brushes. It looks like that. And the next color we're going to go in with guys is this one right here. So we're going to tap on that like so and put it right in our outer V right in here just tap that on and go a little tiny bit up under the uh, transition transition color that's beautiful beautiful brown color wow I'm liking I am liking that like I said, I dabbled in this palette, you know, for maybe one color or so like that. But never uh, we'll go take a little bit in the inner corner here. Like so. Just blend that like so. Real simple eye look. I'm doing a halo eye. I really didn't know what I was going to do until just now. <laughs> you know how we come on here guys and okay you don't have it figured out what you're gonna do with your eyes yet but I am liking this dark brown color this is nice like I say her palettes do not um disappoint at all yes 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 Okay, just going in, placing my colors. Mm -hmm. Tap that on like so. Alright, so I'm going to do a little blending now. Just blend that up with the transition color. Like so. Hmm. Might put another color in between that, but I do not know yet. Let's see how the the halo eye gonna come out looking. Okay, that is nice, but when I open my eyes, I need a little bit more up here. Okay, let's take that and blend that in. Mm-hmm. And some more over here. Trying to even it out. Yeah, I haven't wore put on makeup in a while, guys, so it's been a minute since I did a makeup look. So with that I am liking that a lot. Alright, I'm going to take the elf clear handle brush is like this just a flat brush and I want to take um, hmm I think I'm gonna go back into that MAC soft ochre well I mean I don't have my glasses on but I know one is brighter than the other <laughs> I want that lighter one Mm hmm okay and I'm just gonna tap that instead of using concealer I'm going to just use the Mac uh, paint pot to put it right in the middle of my eye here I always mess up when it comes to concealing my eye, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. This wasn't the proper brush, but hey. Put a little bit up there. Like 
like so. And then we're going to <clears throat> pick a lid color, guys. Okay, I don't want to go on with that brush, but I will use, um, go back to my MAC 242 and the color that we want to put in the middle of the lid. Hmm. I'm going to go with this color right here, guys. Let me see how that one's going to look. Okay, it looks good. Looks good. More like a um a, um copper color. Exactly a copper color. That's pretty. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like that. All right, let's do the other one. Get that one on real quick. And we can go into our foundation. Just patting that on. Like so. You got to be to work at 12, right? Yeah. Okay, we'll be leaving out at 11.30. Talking to my daughter, guys. All right, guys. Now, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is blend this out. Blend this together. We are going to take, we want a smaller blending brush. And I think I have one. Let me see which one is that one. That one is, that's a Morphe also, M507. And that looks like this. Yeah, guys, I went and got some uh, Morphe brushes, guys. So I'm going to take that brown in there. No product on the brush at all. And just uh, blend that uh, into that uh, copper shimmery color that we put on the lid. Just blend it in like so. Do the other side. I didn't pick up no extra product, guys. Just blending, guys. Just doing a little extra blending here. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, what we're going to do next, we're going to... Hmm, I may take that same color, guys, and put a little bit here in my inner V. Mm-hmm. Same golden copper color right there. See, now this is why we don't want to do our uh, <laughs> makeup first. Because of a little bit of fallout. All right. Now, guys, what I'm going to do for right now, I'm going to close that back up. I'm going to take my e.l.f. liner. Now, this is not a new product, guys. You guys know I. this is my favorite liner to use. We're going to tap, put that on really quick. Okay. I like to go in small little strokes.
Just a little bit. And back down. Just giving myself a little wing liner. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I kind of messed that up a little bit, but that's okay. Got my mirror right here, guys, so I really got to look down in this mirror when I'm doing this. Pop my line around real quick. much worried about that part right there what let me try to make it even because I'm gonna try if I have enough time to pop my lashes on and I think I'm gonna do that right now <clears throat> Say so you guys seeing me go, oh yeah, I have time. Because once I once your eyes are done, guys, basically you are done with your makeup. That's what I think, anyways. <laughs> Alright, guys. Now somewhere around here I had a oh, here we go right here. A new box but I don't know where my same thing um what are that Ordell Ordell uh, lashes I do like these they they look uh, natural um, very natural now this I have to put my glasses on so I won't be uh, pulling the um <laughs> Lashes out wrong, guys. Yes, yes, yes. All right, put my glasses on to do that. We're going to just take a pair of tweezers, and I'm just taking them out the pack, you know, like so, like that. I set them right here. Put my glue on them real quick. Mhm. Mm I think I may have to cut them. Yes. May have to cut them. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Because I did use one. Um, goodness gracious. You guys can't even see them. Um, I did use a. Uh, one of them. Let me go get my scissors, guys. I will be right back. Take that breathing treatment before you go to work. How was your chest feeling? Just a little heavy. 
It's not as heavy as it was last night, is it? Wow. Yeah, she has a real, real bad cold, guys. And these colds or whatever you call them, what's going around, it's just really, really bad. So the glue that I am using, guys, is Duo. Yeah, so you might hear a little bit of noise in the background, guys. Well, hey, it's always noises on my videos, so hey, it ain't nothing new. She's taking a breathing treatment before she goes to work. So I am just going to take a little dab of that and um, put it on my lashes here. And um, once... Once they get tacky, I will plop them on really quick and we will go into the foundation. Yes, yes, yes. Get that on real quick and we can call it. So yeah, guys, I have a, um, I want to do, well, I already have the clothes I had ordered. They, you know, came back already. And uh, I wanted to do their summer dresses. And I want to do a haul for you guys. Um, a little mini haul. It's not mini, a lot. It's going to be uh, a short uh, haul. I think I got maybe four, four dresses. Something like that, so... I'm gonna blow these off. Yeah, so I wanna do a little short uh, mini haul for you guys. Mm hmm. Gotta just get this thing tacky. I learned my lesson with these lashes. If they're not tacky, you're going to have trouble putting them on. I do like the eye look, guys. What do you guys think about it? Just for something every day, you know, I didn't want to go off into the bright colors or anything right there. I probably would blend a little more right in here. So, let me see if it's tacky enough to go on. Wow, perfect cut, guys. Perfect cut. It was a time I would not do this on film, camera at all. Come on, you get up under there and stick. <laughs> This is what I hate about lashes. You always have that one part. That don't want to stay down. But like I say, this is why I do what I am doing. I'm going to have to stick that down some more. So while that's getting more tackier over there, we're going to take this one and we're going to plop this one on. It's just all about taking your time. It's the corners, guys, that I cannot seem to get right. See, same thing over here. Ooh. I don't want to put the tweezers in my... But hey, we have to learn. We have to learn. 
I know I do. And ain't no shame. Oops. Messed up right in there. I just have to put some more liner there. Alright, so what I'm going to do real quick, guys, while I got you guys on here, I'm going to take my elf liner. Uh, I hate that. But I can fix that. I can fix that. With a real, real tiny, tiny brush and a little bit of more Juvia's Place. And we're going to go into the foundation. Just put it right there. Just trying to fix a problem. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's go into the foundation. The foundation we're going to go in today with. Yeah, I know I got a... Oh, they turned out okay. Oh. Glue on a stick to my... Oh, Jesus. I'm not going to fight with them. <coughs> not today. <coughs> All right. We're going in with NARS, guys. This is a uh, sheer glow. I never use this, but I have heard things about um, this foundation. So I went on here and purchased it, purchased it, and I want to get the other one. Um, I'm going to shake this up really, really good. Oh. Oh, I forgot it don't have a pump to it, guys. Going in with my clear handle brush, and this is an e.l.f. It's an, like an angle brush. I'm going to put a little bit of this on this brush here and see what happens. Come on out now, guys. Here. Yeah, this is the first time I'm trying uh, NARS foundation. Wow, I wish it just come on out. All right, well, okay. They say it's supposed to be skin-like. You guys know I don't go up under there too much. Okay. Let's do a little bit more on this side. Oh, guys, I am liking this. It's very uh, light. Real light to me. You can build this up. I already see that now. I am done with that. So I'm going to put that back over there and finish blending this in while I'm blending this in I gotta go get my beauty blender guys so stay tuned be right back Okay, guys, I am back. I had to go in the bathroom. 
It's always in the bathroom, guys. All right. I am really liking this. Wow. It's nice. Okay. Just blending, guys. You guys know I like a nice, nice, nice blend. Oh, wow. I forgot to tell you guys the color. Hang on, guys. Okay, it is dark too. Uh, new Kelde. I can't even pronounce it. Sheer glow, but it is dark too. Um, this supposed to be. Uh, yeah, it's a sheer glow. Found. Yeah, sheer glow. So basically, you're supposed to have that uh, glow. Hmm. That's a first time using this. <coughs> Okay, guys, like I say, I'm going to throw on my concealer and um, quick everyday look. Wow. I'm going to take my beauty blender and just go over my foundation real quick. Mm -hmm. Guys, I am loving the foundation. Oh, I didn't know it was going to perform like this. This is nice. Okay, let's put the concealer on. All right. The concealer we're going to go in with this time is 24 Hour. This is uh, by MAC. This is new. Never tried this before. I'm loving that glow. Guys, look at, mm, look at that glow. All right, let's get a little concealer up under my eyes. If you guys notice, for my new subscribers, if you notice, I do not go up under my eyes too much with my foundation. And the reason why, because I don't want to do too much creasing. You put too much on up under your eye. That's where the creasing comes in at. Because I already know I'm going to go in with concealer anyway. So, um. All right. I'm liking the color so far. So good. Let's blend this in. Okay, let's go up our nose just a little bit. Okay, all right, blend, blend, blend. Put a little bit of Okay, guys, this is, uh, to me, it is a little sheer. Uh, the concealer, um, I don't think is full coverage, but, uh, it's enough for me. I know that. I like it. I like it, guys. I need my smaller beauty blender, but that's okay. Get in here like so. All right, we're going to set this with some powder. Put on a little blush, lipstick. And we're out of here. 
like I said, just an everyday look. So far as the MAC 24 hour concealer, I don't know. I'm not <laughs> going to wear this for 24 hours. Um, if I ever do another 24 hour, you know, makeup video again, this I will try to see how this is going to perform. But I really do like it. Just like I like the um, foundation, that NARS Sheer Glow. I'm loving it for even uh, mature uh, women like us, you know, over 50. I am liking that, um, that, that, that glow the foundation is giving me. And then with the concealer, uh, it's giving me. So I'm going to go right in with the honey from uh, Fenty Beauty to set up under my eyes real quick and I'm just going to take a little bit of that powder and I am just going to uh, tap that into my concealer like so mm-hmm just tap it on in. This is a wet beauty blender. Just trying to tap it in. It brings down some of that glow. I see that. Mm-hmm. I'm liking that. That is again Fenty Beauty and the setting powder that I use. It is in the color Honey. Okay, next thing we're going to use is Fenty Beauty Contour Stick. We're just going to do a very small contour not nothing too big at all mm -hmm. just just a small contour I forgot to take it around well nope I will do that with the um take my contour brush contour that nose a little bit It's basically just darkening it up some. A little dab of do you there. Then I'm going to take my cover girl. Get my uh, this is the Morphe. Um, you can use this as a foundation brush powder brush and right now I'm going to be using it as a powder brush just to put a little bit of color back in my skin this is a nice brush I want to get another one I would love to have two of these this is nice and guys the brushes is not expensive at all Okay, just to darken that up. I don't think I'm going to go in with any blush. I'm just going to probably do a, let me see, <coughs> a, uh, hmm, a highlighter. And I'm going to go in with, um, I did get a uh, purchase, a MAC Gold Deposit. And, um, yeah, purchase that. So, I'm just going to take 
that a little bit just right in there like so what did you get okay it is a little glitter to this I am looking for a concealer I mean a highlight with uh, barely no glitter to it but I like this uh, gold deposit from MAC mm -hmm. I really did like it all right I'm going to put that back Guys, I don't know. I may take um, this little blush right here from Fit Me. Just put a little bit on, just a little bit. So, guys, the foundation, the concealer, the Juvia's Place palette I am loving it the items that we did use I am loving it so far I am going to take my MAC powder and this is a NW50 and we're going to tap this all around to set everything and bring it down like so let's throw our lipstick on guys oh one thing I'm forgetting guys mm. oh setting spray this is the Morphe setting spray that I will be using. Wow, mm. I am loving this spray, guys. This is another new product um, that I uh, purchased. I am loving this setting spray. How did I do without it? I do not know. But I am loving this. I have to go back and get two more of these. I found the perfect setting spray for me. So what I want to do really, really quick is take this. This is another new uh, mascara I bought from the Crux store. Just take a little bit and put it down here up under my lashes. And a little up under there like so I do take mascara and put on my falsies yes I do just a little bit okay this uh, mascara I think this is by uh, Maybelline I'm not for sure I don't have my glasses on but this is awesome 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 guys okay the lip lippy I want to go in with guys I'm looking for my you know what I can put my glasses on now because it's about time for me huh it was chapstick in that cabinet oh it should be in the cabinet well I don't know I don't know I'm going to use a wet and wild brown lip liner.
Okay. <coughs> All right. Like I said, guys, wet and wild. Just a regular brown lip liner. And I will be taking this um, lipstick from MAC. Um, it is called Shook. Uh, stroke I don't know I have to the writing is so small but the color looks like this This is another new product. I am loving. First time I'm ever trying MAC lipsticks. I am loving, loving, loving the lipstick. So today, normally I would probably put a lip gloss over it, but today I'm not. I just want to wear a, a matte lip. So guys, this basically is the finished look. I'm getting ready to take my new order to work and um, come back and upload this video for you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed the video guys I always always enjoy doing my makeup on video for you guys uh, like I said this is my everyday look here we go again I like it just a little shimmer don't my nails broke one of my nails oh, I hate that but that's okay so yeah guys I am really liking uh, this everyday look um, I'm really liking this look so the products the brushes was new the uh, the warriors palette um, the lipstick uh, basically Fenty Beauty I got that really used it but not really just used it the um, MAC um, concealer so basically a lot of the products uh, I use basically uh, was new products and um, I enjoy I enjoyed all the all of the products and I do recommend if you guys don't have it go purchase them they are great especially that NARS from sheer glow for mature women guys you will love it if you are in my color and I do have dry skin so guys it is awesome I love the way the foundation look and the um, concealer from Mac so I am loving it guys so um stay tuned guys and I will connect with you again in my next video. You guys keep your head up and don't let nobody take you down, guys. And keep the faith. And I will connect with you guys again in my next video. And don't forget to like and subscribe and share my videos, guys. So, um, here we go again. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Hey, guys. I got to go get me some more MAC lipsticks. Loving the nude. This is like my perfect little nude. All right, guys. See you in my next video. Bye-bye. Okay.